In this easy to follow video, I cover the whole process of installing Elementor template kits, how to customize it, all of its features, as well as how to build and save your own Elementor template kits. No more guesswork, no more wasted time, just a beautiful professional website in less time than you ever thought possible. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. Make sure to subscribe and like the video so this video reaches a broader audience. The purpose of this video is to build a minimalistic business consulting website with five pages and a pop-up in less than 10 minutes and we'll be using the Elementor Hello theme. The required tools for this video are Elementor Page Builder and Elementor Pro. And since this is a new WordPress website installation, we begin by installing the Hello theme. So go to Appearance, Themes, click to add a new theme, search here, it's this one, Hello theme, click to install, and once it's done, click again to activate, and I recommend you delete the other theme, so click on team details, and then just press delete. Perfect! A classic WordPress theme like this is a traditional design layout for websites on WordPress, featuring a simple structure with customizable options for colors, fonts, and layouts and you will access all of these team features by going to Appearance, Customize, and then we will find listed here. To access the Elementor Templates Kit Library, you will go to Templates and Kit Library option. An Elementor Template Kit is a set of pre-designed page layouts and sections for use with Elementor Page Builder plugin in WordPress. Template kits streamline WordPress site construction by providing all necessary components, including page contents, headers, footers, single pages, site settings, pop-ups, and global settings such as fonts and colors. And you can select from dozens of beautiful professional pre-made website layouts, blocks with eye-catching images. I advise you to check if you have the commercial rights to use the media files such as images and other visual components. I usually replace all of them from the templates copy. There are kits for free and pro users. However, free users only get sections and widgets. And rather than importing each template individually as done in the past, you may now import all of the contents at once. Each template has its own website structure, so it's really helpful to first browse through till you find the structure right for your project. And once you are satisfied with the template kit, it is recommended to import in a fresh and clean WordPress website. Let's go through the available controls in this templates library. At the top, you have the option to import your own website kit after you have exported or downloaded. The next button is to refresh the connection to Elementor database and be sure to every once in a while you click this button to establish the connection with Elementor and get the newest template kits. At the left hand side there are some controls to help you filter and find the right template kit. You can select categories or tags to conduct your specific search. As you are watching the website loads instantly and you, get, you are getting a preview containing all of the website components and you can fully test it and check against other choices. Another great action you can take before importing is to click on these two top buttons to see how the website looks on mobile devices. Just click and switch between these two icons to get a live preview on mobile devices. And test any page to check if this is the right choice to go with. I'm gonna import this one. I have already tested on mobile devices. I like its design 
and structure, press apply kit, and we are prompt with a message saying that we can use everything in this kit or customize some items. Let's go with apply and pressing the button will install the template and you should never close or refresh the importing. We can skip this part because this is to scan your SVG files. Just be patient until you get a happy message saying the site is ready to be used with a list of all elements or templates, posts, pages and menu item assets. After the importing process has been completed, saving a lot of time and effort, it's time to do some manual work related to the business logo and to customize the menu structure. So simply head over to your WordPress dashboard and open the customize option. The menu structure has already been created as you are viewing and you can customize the menu. I want to remove a menu item. So you open the menu name and to remove it, simply click on the menu item like this and click to delete it. We can reorder it and the next step is to add the business logo. Open the site identity. You can change the site title and then simply click the site icon and upload it from your media library or from your computer. And next up, don't forget to publish your changes. And next up, let's finally preview the business website. So open the pages. As you can check, several pages has been automatically created and choose, for instance, the home page and choose edit with Elementor to start the customization work. We now are able to adjust the design and the images as we need to by using the Elementor editor. Let's assume I want to change this image over here. You click the column and then you go to the style tab where you can choose the image you want to change. You can also optimize the images in order to improve the site's performance. Elementor is now the image optimizer plugin to helping you optimizing images. It's a free plugin you can utilize. Okay, going back back to the WordPress dashboard to check the posts. Elementor automatically generates and installs all of these blog posts for you with all categories already set up. Now head over to Elementor Theme Builder to view all imported website parts. And we are viewing a list of all site parts here with the green dots. And they are global parts, meaning they are used throughout the website. And on the left hand side, you can go into details. Pressing a side part error will preview the template. So now you are able to customize it, to edit, and you can export it, trash or rename it. Let's take care of the pop-up connection. Navigate to templates, and then pop-ups. And with this fantastic template kit just imported, I have a contact form pop-up. Let's add it with Elementor to see the trigger. Here it is. Open the finder and there's no need to set any trigger because this is a form. The structure is a simply form to collect submissions and there's no need to trigger and connect to anything else. Now let's say you want to build your own template library. Dashboard. The best approach to export the template is by going to templates. For instance, let's suppose I want to reuse this archive. I like to design and I want to reused in another website. All you have to do is to select it and then click to export to download the JSON file. Why not check out this next video on the screen? This video is the solution to connecting your Canva designs to your Elementor website. It's a new Canva feature you can utilize to streamline your workflow. Just do me a favor, please like the video, it helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Natalie and see you next time.